Greetings, I'm the Old Growler, and this is Beer Tasting with the Old Growler. Now, let's get started with the tasting. All right, let's take a look at this here. It's a, a, a it's Tenement uh, Pilsner. Now, <clears throat> you can see that the, the design there has got like a, a fire escape on there, and ten na na mm. So it's, uh, they're a uh, nice little design. Torch and Crown Brewing Company, it's a Pilsner. All right, we turn around here, it says 4.9% alcohol by volume, uh, one pint of Pilsner, very good. Okay, uh, and then it says, a brewed and canned by Torch and Crown Brewing Company, New York City, New York. And on the other side here, yeah, the government warning, according to the Surgeon General, yes, very good. And so, they have a little, uh, little something here to say about this beer. Our city has always taken commitment. Uh -huh. Six-story walk-up. Tie your shoes. Subway car that's clearly at capacity. Shove your way in. The energy. The pulse. It's defined through centuries of hard work, diversity, and not so occasionally... Uh, not so occasionally, 2 a.m. street kebabs. Lagered for over 100 days, Tenement Pills is built for the city. A heartfelt declaration to the cause. No shortcuts, no substitutes. Okay. Uh, let's see now. What does that tell me about the beer? Not much. In fact, it doesn't tell me anything about the beer. Oh, lagered for over 100 days. Now that is unusual. Uh, lagered beer, two, 30, 60, a month maybe. So th this was this was sitting and if it was, uh, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna read into that because uh, if it's been 100 days, that means it's been in a very cold uh, fermentation. And cold fermentation means that you're not gonna get much uh, aroma on this. Uh, you're gonna get probably a nice little bitter undertaste, a, a light grainy uh, flavor, uh, kind of a, um, a as if it was a not quite a whole wheat bread, but something along that line. So a, a very bready type of, of taste, uh, but very clean and a crisp finish. And when I say crisp, that means it's not sweet. Uh, it, it's got a little bit of hops to it, not too much. Okay, well, let's see what this, uh, <clears throat> that's what we're looking forward to. Let's see what we've got, let's see what it comes up to. Once again, I'm using this style glass because I've been using it for all of the tastings and that way everybody's equal and on equal footing and all that kind of good stuff. It allows the aromas to congregate at the top. If I was really worried, I'd have a, a tulip glass, a, red, a real nice red wine glass for it. But uh, when you have a <coughs> container like this, the uh, aromatics disappear very quickly. All right, enough of that. Let's get into it. Okay. Hey, here we go. <clears throat> Last tilted, 45 degree angle. There we go. All right. Well, it looks like a Pilsner. It's got a nice head like a Pilsner. It's got some great from uh, great uh, carbonation as you can see there. Boy, that, that that's really bubbling up there. That's that's beautiful. All right. There is there is a a a, 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 a hop tang, kind of a, a tingle to the nose as you try this one out. Okay, let's take a sip. Let's take a swig. That is a fine little Pilsner because it does have a little bit of a sweetness as you start to, as you finish uh, swallowing it, there's a little sweetness in there, but then it immediately uh, has a, a nice hot dryness that finishes it off. Oh, this is a nice beer. Very nice beer. Let's try it again. Make sure I didn't make any mistakes because sometimes, oh, I'm still picking up a nice, uh, like a new mown lawn, grassy type of aroma. 
I'm gonna take that back. Uh, you, you hit some weeds on the side, so they're they're starting. To, it's not just plain grass. We got some some weed dandelions in there. Yeah, but it's definitely a, a, a an herbaceous. Oh, what a wonderful word, herbaceous uh, aroma. Oh, I aerated that one nicely. Yeah. It's beautifully balanced. The sweetness comes in, the tingle of the hop, and then drying out, and the sweetness disappears. Well, does Tenement Pilsner from Torch and Crown Brewing Company in New York, New York, meet expectations? Yes, it does. It certainly does. In fact, it exceeds expectations. <laughs>